Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. It's uh, Denise Cox here at Bird's Nest Designs and I'm super excited to be here tonight with you to do a little crafting and make a super cute card using a whole medley of Stampin' Up! products. So I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful week so far. Um, I'm a little red still. I just came in from taking the puppies for a walk and it's a little bit chilly outside. Um, Hi Carol, hi Bev, thanks for being here ladies. It's the 15th of February already. Did you guys all have an amazing Valentine's Day? I hope so. I hope you were showered with love and chocolates and flowers and all those fun things. Okay. Hi Sharon. So today's card, we're going to um, feature the Cactus Cuties. So that is one of my favorite bundles from the, um, the mini catalog. I love it. It is super adorable. And today is the last day to register, if you haven't already done so, for my Cactus Cuties class to go. So real quick, I'm going to show you those cards. So here's this cute Just a Note card. We've got a really cute, it's in foil, or in cellophane here but we've got a really cute hello card and then we've got a beautiful let me show you fun fold um, included in that kit as well so right here you can see it's like a easel card awesome so tonight is the last night to register so um, the link can be found in my Facebook events it can be found in my online classes um, on createwithbirdsnest.ca and you just click on the link it'll fill your cart you check out I get an email saying you've registered and I'll send you your um, your free cards and your free instructions and your free dimensionals just for signing up. So to, like I said, today's the last day. Um, if you can't find the link, just message me. I've got a few spots left. Um, you don't want to miss this one. It's super fun. Okay, so what else? Um, 15th. So two more weeks of celebration and I'm going to show you the friendly hello bundle tonight as part of the focus. Hi Rose. Hi Sherry. Oh my goodness so many of you here tonight. Thanks for being here. Um, so that class is coming. I've got some more fun ones coming up. I'm busy planning away. So what else can I tell you? Two more weeks of celebration and hmm 15th of February. I will be releasing my stamp of the month shortly in the next sometime this week. So uh, if you're interested in joining that club, that information will be out really soon too. Uh, the stamp of the month for this coming month is the beautiful tulips and I'm drawing a, a blank on the name of it. So I'm just going to have a quick look here. Flowering tulips. So this is going to be my stamp of the month club for this month um, or for March. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. If I think of anything else, I'll pop back on in the end, but let's switch this camera down to my desk view here. And uh, we're gonna make a really fun, cheerful card tonight. So let me just click the button to move you down here. There we go, all right. Look at this color scheme we're using tonight. So we've got fresh freesia, we've got pale papaya and shaded spruce. These were all pulled from the beautiful Friendly Hello Celebration paper. So again, I've used this as my um, inspiration for the color scheme tonight. And you can see how gorgeous this is. This is a celebration product. So it's free with a $120 order. And you get this gorgeous paper, 12 by 12. And you also get the Friendly Hello stamp set right here. So all of that for free when you spend $120. So that's awesome. Okay, tonight's card, like I said, we're going to use the Cactus Cuties. It's adorable. And we're going to create this really fun card right here. I love that it says just a note because you can use it for anything. Sometimes it's nice just to send a little bit of um, happy mail, right? Just something, put a little note in there to make anybody's day. All right, so we're going to use that. We're going to use Cactus Cuties. We're going to use these fun basic borders dies. These dies are in the annual catalog. What else are we going to use? Some embellishments. Yeah, we've got lots to show you tonight. So let me get started. Got everything here prepared, mostly. So we've got, uh, we've got a card base, uh, thick whisper white, or basic white. 
And it's just a regular one, eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and fold that in. I use my bone folders, make a nice crisp fold there. Okay, so we've got our nice clean um, card base. And then we're gonna use the banners pick a punch and we're gonna flag the ends of these strips of paper. So these again are from that friendly hello bundle. And you can see these gorgeous designs. So these are the three we're gonna use. Let me show you the back of that one too, that nice bright green. And we're going to flag the longer one. So <clears throat> I've got each of these slightly different lengths. Well, sorry, these two are the same. I'm just gonna stick that in all the way into the banners pick a punch. And I'm sure if you guys have watched any of my videos, you've seen me, this is one of my favorite tools. Um, you've got both ends and you can go up to an inch wide on either one of them. So lots of variations, lots of different options for that one. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and attach those. I forgot to get my adhesive out, but here we go. So I'm going to start with the polka dot one centered in the card because I want to make sure my spacing for the other two is going to be good. So I'm just going to put this in. I'm just eyeballing center. Here. Oops. Push it down a little bit more. There we go. And then we're going to attach the purple one. Said my hands are still cold from my the walk with the puppies. It's cold out there. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna put the one here with the flag on the end on the very edge here. Okay, so there we've got the base for our card. Then I'm going to attach my circle. So I've used this circle is cut out of the um, layering circles dies. So I'm just gonna attach that over top of the purple and the white polka dots. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out this gorgeous border. So you can see all the different options on this die set. It's really a fun one. So we're going to use the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, zigzag or chevron, whatever we're going to call that. And I've got a piece of shaded spruce cardstock here. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my stamp cut and emboss machine, my little mini one, super cute. And we're going to, if I can find my trays, so we're going to use our cutting boards. We're going to start with number one and then we're going to use both of the number two. So we're going to put the one, I always try to keep one just for cutting and the other one to put on top. It just keeps it a little bit cleaner and keeps them, actually keeps them a little bit flatter. So I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, but I'm just going to put the cardstock on here and then I'm going to take the die and I'm just going to sit it across the whole thing. Okay, and then we're just going to put the other number two plate on top. Oops. Okay. This is a little bit tricky to do with the camera in front of me. So give me one second. I'm going to grab my post-it note. And I'm going to make sure this thing stays there. Okay, and then we'll just Sure, the sticky sides down. Oops. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now we'll bring this back in. And we'll just start winding that through. Okay, I love that little mini because it's so easy just to move it right out of the way. And then look at what happens when you cut this apart. So now we have two edges of the zigzag and both of them have that gorgeous fun stitching line on them. Can you guys see that in the camera? Awesome. So we're just going to use one of those. Okay. 
Now we'll do some stamping. So I've got a half inch strip here, half inch wide strip of basic white. And then I've just got some scraps here for stamping. So we'll start with our fresh freesia. Puts things out of the way here. And here's the stamps that we're using again. And we're gonna just stamp just a note. I'm going to stick, stamp that onto the right hand side, just like that. We'll set that aside. And then on this piece, we're going to stamp these really fun cactus. So we're going to use shaded spruce for the cactus itself. We're going to use fresh freesia for the flowers, and we're going to use pale papaya for the pot. Just give me one sec here. Something's just flashing on my computer. There we go. Okay. So I'm having trouble seeing comments tonight. So I will go back when the video is over and I'll answer any questions and uh, we'll go from there. So here is the cactus stamp we're going to use. Let's make this up. Where is that? Let's stop. I love the photopolymer because you can totally tell whether the ink is on the whole thing or not. So there was a little spot that didn't have quite enough ink on it. Pull that off. Isn't that awesome? I love, love, love this stamp. Okay, now I've got the little flower. So this is this one here. I've got that one. We're going to get the fresh, fresh freesia. And I'm just going to stamp that right on top of this cactus on each of these. Just like that. Okay, here's the pot that we're going to use. In the stamp set, you do have three different options that you can use. And I'll show you, there is a punch that coordinates, oops, that coordinates with this stamp set too right here. So these shapes will cut out some of these as well. Um, the ones we're using tonight don't coordinate with the punch, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. So in my class for the Cactus Cuties, um, you will be able to use the punch for some of the cards for that one for sure. So we'll just stamp this pot. Perfect. And that's all the stamping we're going to do. So now I'm just going to quickly Hi Bonnie. Yes, Rose, this bundle is amazing. I love it. It's so fun. Okay, so we're just going to quickly fussy cut this out and I'm going to leave just a slight border of white around my images. Okay. And I never get overly particular about fussy cutting. I know some of you don't like it, but it's really not that bad if you just relax and just let it just have fun with it. Okay. And turn the paper, not the scissors. Okay. So anybody else got some fun plans for the rest of this week? I've got a busy, busy week. I got my team meeting tomorrow night. I'm super excited about that. Meet with all those ladies and share our creative challenge cards. It'll be fun. And I've got a scrapbooking blog hop on Thursday. So check back on my blog. Um, well, it's, it's fairly late our time Thursday night. So Friday morning that should be posted on our blog. Okay, so there's our cactus. And then <laughs> Sherry's just gonna make it through the week. Yeah, I have those weeks too. Okay. It's my birthday weekend this weekend, so I get to go out for dinner on Saturday night. We're gonna celebrate a little bit early. And I get my birthday off because it's Monday and Monday is family day here in BC. So that's fabulous. I'm excited about that. I think I will definitely spend some time in my craft room on, on Monday. Okay, so here we go. Here are all our pieces that we're going to need. And now we're just going to really quickly show you how easily it is to put this all together. So we're going to start by taking this beautiful border that we created 
and we're going to attach that directly over top of our we're going to we're going to attach it directly below our sentiment okay so just putting a sticky strip on there and i'm going to be careful not to push down too far so i don't get it stuck to my um scotch paper here there we go okay so let's use some stampin dimensionals wouldn't be a bird's nest card without dimensionals that's for sure so we're going to use a few of these guys we'll just put three oh goodness i hope it's straighter from that side than it is on that side yes it is i got a little bit worried seeing how crooked this one was here but from the front it looks good oh thanks bev it's going to be a wonderful birthday we're going to stick this here. Okay, so we've just got that straight across. And then for a little cheater, I use the stripes on the banner here to keep it a little bit straight. And now we'll just put a little bit of multi-purpose glue. This is just a card with all the adhesives in it. <laughs> We're going to just use a little bit of that and put it under below here. And you can see that I didn't cut right to the edge of the cactus and that was on purpose so that I would have somewhere to put the glue and then I'm just going to stick this pot over top so the cactus is coming out of the pot just like that oh I love this it's so cute Sherry I don't know where we're going to go for dinner I haven't decided yet I'm open for suggestions if you have any okay, let's put some dimensionals on here I'm not even paying attention because I'm reading your comments. We don't want dimensionals behind the pot. We only want dimensionals behind the cactus because the rest is going to sit here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here. Goodness sakes. Okay. So now we're going to put this cactus right over top like so. And I think I want a little bit of this I can play around with the positioning of it right there. It looks good. Okay, see how cute that is? All right. Lastly, we're going to add some bling. So this time we're going to use the Playing With Patterns Resin Dots. I love these. I'm going to be very, very sad if they don't carry over to the new annual catalog that comes out in May. Um, but we've had them for two catalogs, so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Um, usually you do get a coastal cabana layer here as well, but I've used them all up. So right now I've just got the crushed curry and the purple. I think those are actually used to be the old in color, but they, they go so beautifully with all the other purples and shades that we have that they've just left them in there. Okay. So take a pick tool and we're going to just put some, oh goodness. <laughs> This is a lot of bloopers here tonight. Okay, we're going to stick these here. We don't really want to stick them to my scrap paper. There we go. We'll just, oh, that's the same size. See? And we'll stamp this here. And we'll put our third one up here. There we go. Isn't that cute? I love the Cactus Cuties bundle. It is adorable. And it's an awesome deal, too, I think. You get it for right here in this catalog for only $43 you get this beautiful stamp super fun one you can use all year round it's adorable and you get the the builder punch as well all right so there's our card that up. and I'm going to see if I can find the button to push to come back to see you there we are okay Thank you all for being here tonight, um, bloopers and all. It was really fun to create with you and make this adorable cactus card. Um, I can't wait to put it in the mail um, and brighten somebody's day. So thank you all for being here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I can't wait to see your comments on what you think about this card. And if you have anything that any questions in regards to Stampin' Up and celebration and all those things, then of course just message me. And remember, you've just got two more weeks. 
to get those orders in or to join my team and get two additional stamp sets, any ones you want, absolutely free. So add those to your starter kit, pick those expensive ones that are on your wish list because get your most bang for your buck that way. So any questions about that too, just reach out and ask me. I'm more than happy to help you out. Have a lovely night. It was nice to craft with you. Cheers, everyone.